Okay, welcome to my show. It is a uh, it is a show about my fantastic friends, and and I feel over the years that I've made several fantastic friends, um, and they're super incredible. So I want you to meet all of them. So right now we're going to start off this uh, little segment with Owen Rivera. What is up, dude? A lot. <laughs> a lot is up. That is what I like to hear. So a little. A little prep on Owen. I've known Owen for a long, long time. Um, I think you were four or five years old when you first came and we started jamming on music, yeah? Oh, yeah. It was three and a half, three and a half or it was about four. Yeah. Somewhere in that time range. <laughs> so I remember when your dad brought you in, uh, before you before you started playing music with, with us, uh, um, your dad was like, hey, I got I got my son here. I just want you to give him a try. He's like three and a half. He's four years old, but he's super cool and he's super good. <laughs> I said, "Yeah, man, whatever. This is cool." Um, so, so Owen came in. So you came in with, um, you had this like, almost like the Steven Tyler thing going. Oh, uh, the Steve was it like the white one or was it? It was a white jacket. White jacket with with some kind of like dress pants, but you had like this open collar thing with this. <laughs> necklaces and yep it was super cool so we were a rock and roll <laughs> star from a from your young age right <laughs> yeah so let me ask you why rock and roll it just spoke to me it just spoke to me in a very interesting way uh at very uh two we started playing drums it was rhyming and stealing was the first thing i ever played rhyming and stealing yeah. beastie boys beastie boys yeah. yes and I got introduced to rock and roll from Quiet Riot, very hard mm-hmm. rock. It was Come On, Feel the Noise. Yes. One of the best songs ever, in yes. my opinion. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, I heard that song, and I wouldn't... I heard it once, and that's all it took to get me hooked. I Good. had that song playing throughout the day. I would grab a broomstick and pretend I was singing it. It was that good. So you, you wanted to play drums first? Or? Yes. Okay. I I think, from what I've what I've gathered from... All my musician friends, actually, my guitar player friends. Mm-hmm. All of my friends that are guitar players wanted to be drummers first, mm-hmm. but it was who had parents that would actually buy them a drum set. Mm-hmm. You know, there's like one out of ten that was like, "Yeah, I'll buy you a drum set and make noise." We don't care. The others were like, "No, we're gonna get you a guitar. Go in your room. Mm-hmm. You're not getting an amp. Just go play." Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> um, so you got both though. You got the drums. You yeah. got the guitar. You have piano. Yes. You have singing, bass, yeah. flute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got that introduced to me by school in yeah. third grade. Yeah, and the thing is, is, with my parents, they just they just put a bunch of things around and saw what I like the most, and it was music. It was always. I remember I still have them. There's these little bongos and this tambourine that I always used to bang on and stuff like that and such and such. And my dad tried to get me in the sports. Mm-hmm. Didn't work out so well. A little thing about me is, is that every time on the baseball field when I would play, I would throw up the dirt and pretend I was in a concert. That is true, people. That is true. Right. <laughs> there is footage of me doing that. <laughs> and he thought the crowd was cheering because of his amazing dirt play. Exactly. Right. So let me ask you this. So I know you started off playing music and you did mm-hmm. awesome. And we have so many things to talk about as far as what you're doing now and what's in the future. Mm-hmm. Um, but you also act. Yes. I okay. Do. Tell us about acting, how you got in, into acting. Let me know. Um, I don't remember how I got into it. I think it was a movie or a TV show or something like that that got me into it. Acting school I went to was Jet Studios. That was the acting school that took me in and taught me. That's where I made my best friend Scarlett and April, who are now two of my best friends. They might have... Scarlett and April, you hear that? Scarlett and April, yes. They are both of my best friends. I met them both there at Jet Studios. The Jet Studios taught me a bunch of improv and a bunch of how to how to memorize things, you know, like Coldplay, like you get a script and you don't know it, so just go with it, right. you know, that kind of stuff. And it worked, and I had a lot of fun with it. Did a, I did commercials, some old Navy commercials, some Amazon commercials, 
stuff like that. Wait, let me ask you. Yes, ask me, ask me. You did an Old Navy commercial. Yes, I did. Do you wear Old Navy clothes? Do I wear Old Navy clothes? Yes, I do. Okay, good answer. Yes, I do. <laughs> good answer. I, I've been in Old Navy and I've tried to find that shirt and I can't find it. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah this this is yeah, this is a limited edition one from the old old navy. They call it it's old. This is old. Way you know? old navy. This is this is super old. This is <laughs> this is vintage as people call it. Is that a, now is that a real vintage shirt or is it like a new shirt made to look vintage? I don't know. I don't know. It feels it feels vintage because it's the polyester. Oh, yeah. It feels yeah, it has that poly I'm pretty sure it's vintage. Right on. Yeah. Okay. Now let me ask you this. You've done uh, some acting work. I think this is really cool. Mm -hmm. You've done some voiceover acting work, mm -hmm. and you share a really cool character mm -hmm. with your younger brother. I do. Okay. So correct me if I'm wrong. This is really cool. So mm -hmm. you were doing this character on this show, which mm -hmm. is a really successful show, yeah. called Super Wings. Yes. Right? Okay. And you played this character who was a plain Donnie. Exactly. Okay. Yes. Then your voice changed. Exactly. So take it from there. My voice changed. So I was in the car on the way back home one day from L.A. after I did a session. And my mom was telling me, hey, they're going to, they want you to, they want you to check up on your voice for Super Wings. And, you know, and yeah. So I said, awesome. Yeah, I guess I'll do the voice. Yeah. Uh, come to find out that my voice has become way deeper and... <laughs> I so Donnie Jordan. became Don. Don became, yeah, Donnie became Don. <laughs> he became a 27-year-old Don. No, I'm just kidding. Right. He became a Don. And I would, and sometimes when I was doing the sessions and stuff like that, I would come home and my brother would start impersonating the voice that I did. Right. I gave me an idea. Why don't I put my brother into the voiceover acting business so that he can take over the part so I feel good about myself nice. so that he so because you know some other yeah you know, I had faith in that kid I had faith in my brother right I had faith in him that he could bring it to life even more right and he nailed it and he has been doing it for more seasons than I could think of <laughs> awesome dude so you're you're employing you're you're giving your younger brother jobs already That's yep <laughs> good he probably good. has more than me <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> right. So, okay. So you're doing great things, acting. Um, voiceover work is awesome. You're just doing all these things. Now, I know I have here, there is a list, a list of awesome people that you played music in your, in your super short life already. Mm -hmm. So why don't you name some of those awesome people? Mm -hmm. And let's talk about um, okay. Let's talk about that for a little bit, cause All I'm right. I'm a little envious. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie, a little envious. Um, let me start off with one of the funniest. There's two that drummers that I absolutely love that are hilarious. It's Steve Ferroni, Steve Ferroni, who played with Tom Petty until he passed away. I think it was like 25 last 25 years of his mm -hmm. life. He, passed away and was it 2015 2016 it was is it 2014 something like that yeah it's sad we lost a great he was he was with him until then and then Greg Bissonette who's played with who has played since the 80s he right. played with David Lee Roth after he left Van Halen Van Halen, I've heard of that band. Yeah, I feel like who doesn't know Van Halen? And who You'd be surprised, a lot of people. Rock? Oh my goodness! Go hey Paul, keep going. Hey Paul. Right. And he plays now with the all Ringo Star also Ringo Star's All Star Band. Ringo Star from the Beatles. Beatles. Very yes. cool. The Ringo Star. Very cool. And then who else? Ariana Powell. Mm -hmm. You know her. She plays with Halsey. Halsey, right? Yeah, that's. Amazing guitar player. Mm -hmm. in, I, I say her name and people are like, yeah. Right on. <laughs> and then Fish. Who doesn't know Fish? With Christina Aguilera. He is one amazing guitar player as well. Right. And then who else? Steven Hodges, who's right. played for Mavis Staples. He used to play with the Smashing Pumpkins back in the early days. And then, oh my goodness, so many. Um... 
What's his face from Guns N' Roses? Axl Rose. No. No. The new drummer. Oh, before I get him, Glenn Sobel. Glenn Sobel, yes. Glenn Sobel is awesome. He plays with Alice Cooper right. and the Hollywood Vampires. And dude, the best I, part is Greg Bissonette was his drum teacher. I, dude, I've seen, here's a small word, I've seen Glenn Sobel at the Baked Potato in L.A. Oh. randomly playing because he was um, one of my one of my good friends and, and um, uh, one of my one of drummers that I used to play with, Anthony Raya. I think um, I think he had some some connections and some uh, lessons or something like that from Glenn mm-hmm. from his years at Musicians Institute. Mm-hmm. So he he always spoke really really highly of of Glenn Sobel. Oh yeah. So yeah, Glenn's an amazing stuff. guy. So, so what what are you what are you doing? Are you recording with them? Are you just playing? Yeah, I do. I take lessons and I do and yeah, they record on my stuff. Awesome. Yeah, dude. it's so amazing. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Back just up. Watch them. They record on your stuff. Yeah. And they're up to it. Okay. And it's just amazing to see the, the whole process of it happening and everything. I mean, right. they get in and they just like, you know, they're like, hey, ha, ha, ha. It's like they like, like, and then you see their serious face come on and like, okay, what's this? What's this? What's that? Okay, it's tempo. Okay, right. this and this. It's amazing because it's a zone. They get into the zone that's just, it's just there. It's like they are masters at what they're doing. Yes. That's so awesome, man. I'm I'm really proud to see you doing exactly what you're doing, you know? <laughs> um, so another awesome thing that I wanted to bring up, um, I remember being a young musician. One of the things like I wanted to check off on my bucket list was I want an endorsement. I want to get like some company to endorse me, right? Yeah. So, you know, along the lines, uh, or, or al- along the line somewhere, um, I ended up, you know, getting some companies to partner up with. But you just had an awesome endorsement happen. So yeah. why don't you talk about that? Okay. Let me talk about my first couple endorsements, and then oh, I'll first, get to that. One. Your first couple endorsements. First couple. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, look. So. First endorsement until I got was when I went to Nam one year. Okay, let me let me stop you there. Okay, I okay. think this is the endorsement. I I was watching one of my favorite TV shows is The Prophet. Yeah. Okay. There's there's two my first endorsement. Okay. There's Soul Tone Symbols was yes. the first endorsement I got. It was I still have the same set of symbols and I still use the same set of symbols yet today. They last. Soul Tone lasts. They last a long time. <laughs> It's am- it's just amazing people there, amazing companies. It's uh, it's just amazing. So who who's the second one? The second one was Tycoon Percussion. Tycoon T- Percussion. Tycoon okay. Percussion. I'm mean, gonna say it again, not because I'm endorsed by them, but because it's just amazing percussion, amazing people there. It's just amazing people with every company. You know, you might have yeah. some bad, you might have some bad apples in there, but mainly you have the tree with the good stuff on it. It's just amazing to see that they've had, they have a bunch of endorsers, and same with Soul Tone, and it's just amazing, man. Their stuff is amazing. Their stuff is amazing. Soul Tone stuff is amazing, and I still ha- use the same stuff yet today because it lasts so long, right. and because it's made so well. No. So. Do you like use the symbol? Do you like hit the symbol, or do you like oh. tease the symbol? What are you doing? Oh, I hit it. Okay, I hit it with mm. <laughs> beats that symbol down. It lasts. Oh yeah, good and man. It lasts, man. So those those two companies um, they obviously treat you well. Yeah. So um, I've heard Soul Tone is really really good. So I'm pr- I'm proud to hear that you're endorsed by them and happy with that yeah um dude i remember it, it, it took me to like my late 20s to get endorsed by anything oh right yeah. um and uh the other one is a string company i've heard of oh we missed one there oh, was one okay. what about your favorite show again <laughs> my favorite show. okay so i was watching the prophet <laughs> one day and you know he's going around checking out these Whatever he was at Nam, so the guy Marcus Lamonis was at Nam, and he was working with this drum company, and uh, he wanted to see their display at like you know at the Nam setup mm-hmm. at their booth, and um, 
I was like, oh, cool, Nam, dude. You know, the show's at Nam. I'm, I go to Nam. Yeah. You know, it's cool, it's, right? Yeah. For those of you who don't know what Nam is, it's um, uh, the National Association of Music Merchants, and mm-hmm. all the companies and all the music people in the world come together and they show all the new products and whatnot. So yep. everybody tries to get in there and go every year just to see all these new products. Mm-hmm. Uh, so this drum company he was working with was there. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, it's cool. You know, it's music. I'm into music. Mm-hmm. And then I see this kid beating on the drums in the video and Marcus is talking. I'm like, wait a minute. Is that? That's Owen. That's Owen on my favorite show. So tell me about that. So it was a signing. It was a Trey Cool signing. signing. It Trey, was, yeah. Trey Cool from Green Day. Yeah, Trey Cool from Green Day. Small band. They're going to be something someday. Yeah, I heard exactly. Yeah. Okay. So Trey Cool was there and he was doing a signing and I got up there. And just wanted to sign him. My dad's talking to him and stuff. And I was looking at the drums. Mm-hmm. And he said, hey, can, can you play this for me? Can you play this? Oh. Seven-year-old me was like, oh. it was like, it was like playing for God. It was like, ha, he, 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 he. It was a, it was a life-changing moment. Oh, and I got he, up. He, he, he. Yeah. And I got up on those drums and I played the best I've played since seven. <laughs> Now was awesome. that that was pretty cool seeing you on TV. Yeah. So, um, cool. And one more. You have one more. Oh, I have one. Yeah. I got Little company, big company. Uh, what do we got? Yeah, it's it's a bit. It's 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 there. Okay. <laughs> it's um. I recently became an endorsed art, an endorsed artist by Ernie Ball. Ernie Ball, huge mm-hmm. string company. Mm-hmm. Now myself, I use GHS strings. Enemy. <laughs> <laughs> no, we work together. Yeah, we do. right. We're we're team. Yeah. Um, but Ernie Ball is another is another great string company. Yeah. I think one of the biggest string companies, man. So, yeah. I saw you post pictures of yourself at uh, the Ernie Ball, um, you know, headquarters or wherever you went. Mm-hmm. Super cool, man. So yeah. give me give me some, boom, boom. Very good. So, I was listening to you play guitar today, and uh, you have these new titanium strings on there. Oh, yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. So, let me ask you this. Um, You have the acting stuff going on, the music Mm -hmm. stuff happening. What else do you enjoy doing? You're working all the time. Yeah. (laughs) You're working all the time. You're so young, but you're working all the time. What do you do in your spare time? My spare time? If you have any spare time. If I have any spare time. <laughs> it's practicing, playing. So it's the, in my, if I didn't have anything going on certain days, if my friends went out in the cold sack and we were playing and stuff, we would go out there. My brother and I have, my, it's mainly my brother because this kid is amazingly funny. And he got me into this night stuff, you know, it's like big, like, have all these toy weapons lying around and stuff and he has this room right. that's decorated like a whole Japanese setting and he has swords and decorated stuff right. really awesome and that's what I would do we would put on armor and stuff we would go out and do battle and stuff like that you know I remember those days yeah man. those were those were, the, those were fun dude and we, uh, we I was just I was just talking to some people we were reminiscing about when I was a kid mm-hmm. and I was probably I was in New York still so it was probably like nine years old Mm -hmm. and we lived in the country um very you know very rural area Mm -hmm. and uh we used to go out in the woods all the time like me and a couple friends of mine and i remember we we went out and we would build forts and Mm -hmm. like just vanish for an entire day right (laughs) there were there were no phones to make sure our parents knew where we were or anything like that we would just vanish some would come up we'd go out and play and the sun would go down, and we knew it was time to come home. Mm-hmm. Um, can't do that anymore. Right? No. Anyway, so I remember one day it was um, it was really snowy out, you know, and mm-hmm. we put on our snow gear and we just walked from it. It was probably like like a hundred yards, but it seemed mm-hmm. like a mile or two, right? Mm-hmm. And when you're eight or nine or whatever it was, that's a long, it's a long <laughs> way to go. So I remember we had a bunch of change. And we just walked, and there was this diner up on the um, up on like the top of the road where we used to live, and um, we went there, and we sat down, and we ordered. It was three of us, mm-hmm. and we ordered eggs. Mm-hmm. 
and we just sat there and ate eggs. Mm-hmm. And then we paid the waitress with our change. We just put the change on the table. Mm-hmm. And then we left. And I remember coming home that day, still at like eight or nine years old, and I'm like, I am a man. <laughs> like, I, I just made a transaction. I traveled to get there. Uh-huh. It was a hazardous environment, and uh-huh. we made it back home. So, mm-hmm. dude, there, there's nothing more satisfying than going out and just, like, playing, and you have family there, and you're, like, just just living life. Yeah. Right? So don't lose that because that's an awesome okay. thing. Uh, you know, to be successful, you do have to work really, really hard. Mm-hmm. Um, but you also got to leave room for... For good times and exploring mm-hmm. and whatnot. Yeah. So let me uh, let me ask you this. A, you know, a couple more minutes here. Um, where can we find you? I know I know you're putting awesome videos out, mm-hmm. like on your Instagram and your YouTube. You're doing like all these amazing covers of music, um, and it's just you're just blowing me away with your your talent and like the drive. To like get things done. So where where can people find you? At Owens Evolution, on Instagram. I think it's the same thing for TikTok, and I think it's Owen Rivera for YouTube. Owen Rivera. I spell that for people. O W E N. O W E N. R I V E R A. Okay. <laughs> cool, man. Well, um, for any other young musician out there, right? Like. You're, you've been doing a lot of work, um, you know, and you've also had the 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 awesome, you know, ability to jam with Cody also, and mm-hmm. Cody does a lot of work here, and seeing yeah. you guys just succeed is incredibly awesome. So what advice do you have for younger artists and actors and musicians? It's just never give up. Always keep chasing what you can. You just... I mean, I've put in hours, my fingers, my tips of my fingers, I've calloused, yes. I've cut my hand, and all that stuff. It's just, you put in the time, you, the time that I'd say, the time you put into it is the, is the time you get out of it, or something like that. You just go. It just, for what I, for, it took me a long time to get to where I am today. And you just gotta meet people. You gotta put yourself in places. You gotta, you gotta. It's, it's a long process, but in the end, you know how far I've gotten, and with all these endorsement deals and all that stuff, and having my brother paint guitars for me and all that stuff. It's right. just, it's. You feel satisfied once you when you when you get to it's. You just gotta work. You gotta put in the time. You gotta sacrifice. You gotta sacrifice a couple of things. You know, like I, what? I I, sa- I sacrifice time with my brother. Mm-hmm. I sacrifice time with friends. I sacrificed time with fam, family, and all. It's just going out. And I wanted it. Right. You gotta have. Here's a here's good advice. You gotta want it to to get it. It's. Kind of like the thing, you know, like the apple in the tree. It's the highest apple, but it's the best apple. It's the biggest apple. It's the biggest apple, and you want it. Right. Go get it. Is that why they call New York the big apple? Because everybody wants to be there? I think so. All right. I think we just figured that out. I think we did. You just blew my mind, man. Oh, my. So go out, work, understand their sacrifice, mm-hmm. and uh, be dedicated to your craft very yeah. much. You got to be dedicated. You got to gotta work at it. I mean... I mean, you might, I mean, if you work at drums, you might have to sacrifice a million drum heads. You might <laughs> play guitar. You might have to sacrifice right. necks and pickups. It's just, whatever you do, just just do it. It's Just don't give up at it. You'll get to, you might have ups and downs. You might have, you have greats, not so great moments. I mean, you just have to work at it you just gotta I can't explain it it's just it's you you just have to want it you just have to to want it ladies and gentlemen it's up to you and you just have to want it Mm -hmm. so cool Owen Rivera this is not gonna be the last time you're on the little show here Um, (laughs) 
very proud to have you here and, and getting to jam with you and stuff today. Um, so, little fun fact about Owen before we sign off. Owen just learned the whole Kiss discography on guitar. So, good for you, man. It's good talking to you. I'll see you next time on awesome. Sal's Meet My Fantastic Friend Show. Hey. Sal's Meet My Fantastic Friend Show.